Hi, my name is Lawrence. I'm the developer behind Pixhawk and PX4 and I'm going to show you a new board today which is a really first new board we have been doing in some time. It's called PixRacer and as you can see it's designed for racing quads but it's also designed for any other small airframe. It has the same microcontroller as Pixhawk but it also has new sensors and you can plug in this connector here a standard Wi-Fi module. It has micro USB and just to show you kind of size, it's really tiny. It has six PWM outputs, it also has CAN and it has a micro SD card for logging. And the best about it is we've done away with the F13 connectors. The new connectors are called JST-GH. The best about them is they have a locking tab and they're still pretty tiny. If you compare them to a DF13, they're really the same size, just a tiny bit longer. And so because they're small, and have the locking tab. They're really easy to connect and disconnect. So you can just put it in here, snaps nicely, sounds great, and then just press on here and it's very easy to remove. So no broken fingernails, no pain anymore. The Pix Racer supports all the radio input that Pixhawk supports, so you can use here a normal server connector for PPM and SBUS. The single pin here is for RSSI. On the same port you can connect a spectrum receiver. You see this here is the connector that goes into the satellite directly. And this again goes here into the port. You can also connect a standard GPS. This is this cable here. And uh, I think for the full list, you best go just onto the website. Uh, as you can see, it has quite a bit of connectivity, so it doesn't support everything that Pixar supports, but I would say it supports what 95% of people want. It also has uh, an inverter for FR Sky telemetry, so you can get telemetry status through your Tyrannus. And of course it has a connector for the power module and a special cable which has a different color. The main difference to Pixhog is it has no override processor. So this is targeted more at multicopters. And of course it also supports fixed wing planes. We plan to use it in small vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. And for developers it has two fantastic features. One is this microcontroller here is a more recent generation of the STM32 with two megabyte flash, so a lot more space. And a second great addition is this connector here, which is a drone code debug connector. We call this the fourth FMU generation, and we plan to also grow this family based on this board for a full-sized pixel. Thank you.